Hey, buddy. Yeah, it's summer. Listen, I you know I found you last night and you've got a hurt leg, but I need you to get into this little cat crate because we've got to go fix your leg and get you better. If you want to get fixed and get better, say nothing. Okay. Well, I like your wood ear mushroom ears. Um, good job on your food. Good job on your water. Um, okay. He doesn't want to get in the crate. Doesn't know what it is. Doesn't know what I am. I'm a giant to him. So, what do you do in a situation like this? You know, bees are very good for the world. I'm going to tell you how else bees help. They help because they give me an excuse to have a bee glove. That's what we're going to use to get this guy. He's a little, little baby. I found him last night. He was, uh, I, he was coming to get some food at, uh, the habitat. He was limping away. I knew he was wounded. I've had a couple generations of possums here and uh, they're all healthy and plump. But uh, this one needs a little help. You're doing a good job, buddy. You keep, you keep being that Greco-Roman statuesque version of a possum. to the vet he's in the trunk right now it's close so it's all right this better not turn into the hangover where some naked drug lord jumps out and starts beating me with a crowbar because I'm really gonna be put off of helping possums for a little while okay here we are at the East Valley shelter are you still alive or did you swap yourself out with a carbon copy to trick me? I'm gonna go with you're still alive. He's here. Yeah, he's still alive. I checked because as I got closer, the hissing got louder. Let's see what this shelter can do for him. Gotta make sure it's a no-kill and you gotta make sure they're gonna take care of him. So now it's a waiting game. It's a 50-50, but they do an examination and they see if if he can be helped. His name is Engine, by the way. He's the little engine that could, I hope. They see if he can be helped. If they do, they contact a wildlife refuge that will rehabilitate him. If he's in pain um, and they can't help it, they say they're gonna euthanize him. I have to call back today uh, before five and see what the deal is. They took the freaking Halloween towel that I put in there. You think they make that specific Halloween towel all the time? Possum was evaluated and is going to be taken to a rehabilitating place, a shelter. And they're gonna get him back to health and release him. And then as we were talking, I was excited. And then they said, oh, they'll release him in this one area of town. And I'm like, that's 20 minutes from here. That's, what if his mama is looking for him? I was like, shouldn't I come get him and then release him into my backyard? They go, no, 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 what's your address? And so apparently, once he's all healed, they're gonna release him within a mile of, of here. And I offered to come get him, etc. But they said, no, they've got it and they'll be in touch. So I think good ending, I think. I wanna see it with my own eyes, but that's okay. I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna trust that this shelter that deals with animals all day, every day, I'm gonna trust in humanity. My trust in humanity is waning, but I'm gonna give it another shot. Here we go. 